We're so happy to have you folks on board today. We're so happy to have you folks on board today to, to, to bear witness, to brainstorm with us, to join the family in how do we brainstorm, how do we enjoy, and how do we uphold this beautiful emerald jewel for ourselves, for our community, for the greater New Bedford region. It holds historical precedent, it's verdant, it has trees galore, so it makes me happy. What a spa overlooking Clark's Cove. So my question to you folks tonight is, yes, we got you on board, and yes, we got clam chowder, which is awesome, but if each one of you can help us brainstorm, what's the potential of this park? What are some elements that you personally would like to see with this park? That would help the friends group and the community come together to refine the master plan to make that park most usable to the most amount of folks. Founded in 1902, or established officially as a park in 1902, that park was, uh, in its entirety, was a uh, private residence. It was a private estate, one of several here on the South End. So how do we pay homage to that history while looking forward to the future of its use? The decisions we make today will affect the next 50 years, next 100 years. How do we plan for the next 100 years, both environmentally, both socially and culturally? The moves that we make, and with your help, together we're going to be able to make this park arguably the best in the city. That may just be my bias, but that's my opinion. Absolutely beautiful. As you know, right now the big project on hand is the Bowling on the Greens and Croquet pitches up at the Howland House on Brock Ave. We're in the process now of working with the architect to get the Bowling Greens restored to their former, former uh, beauty. By doing that, it's going to be a, a, a careful process of making sure it's done to the utmost standard. But once, we're, once we've really got that ball moving, we need to start looking at what are the next steps. How do we as a group, how do we as a family, how do we as a community start looking at what are the next steps and strategically articulating and following through with a plan to make this park outstanding. Many people bring up that stone house. Built in the Gothic style architecture, that stone house is clearly one of the, the crown jewels of the park itself.